So what advice do you have for people who are stuck in this uh, vicious circle or vicious uh, hamster wheel of ideas? Like, I, I have all the ideas in the world, but I, I, I'm just a little too afraid to move forward on it. Or I'm going to make up excuses not to move forward with it. Like, I need a red. I need a red 8K to shoot my dramedy that is shot basically in one room and I need this and I need that and I need this actor I need that much money just for me to get up out of the bed in the morning those are all excuses I did those excuses that's just absolutely pure fear and excuses <laughs> pure pure fear is what that is <laughs> and I, you can call it whatever you want like that um, I'll call I'll call shenanigans I'll call extract, BS fear extract you know it's, it's like <laughs> I got to default to something you've said a number of times in your podcast. Yeah. Uh, stop throwing obstacles in front of yourself. Correct. And that's exactly what it is. When you start to say, I can't make this idea unless X, that's an obstacle. Because at the end of the day, you either want to do something or you don't. And that can take different shapes, right? Like most of the time when we get into filmmaking, um, we want to make the films of our youth, right? Like yeah. Jurassic Park, Star Wars, whatever. Most of the time, because that's why we even that's thought we, that inspired it. us. That inspired that, us. Yeah, that's the thing that gripped us, right? But the problem with that is, you know, there's a whole economics aspect of film that piggybacks on this. It's like, great, do you have a two, three, four, five hundred million dollar? You know, it's like obviously you don't. But it kind of goes back to the question of. You know, once you get past that, just making films of your youth and realize, wait, there's many different aspects to this. There's indie film, there's short films, there's online making films for the online space. There's, you know, once you realize there's a whole bunch of different flavors, then you go back to that question of what is it you really want to do? If all you want to do is make your passion project, that script that you've had in your drawer that you've been working on for like five to seven years, right. and you're continuing to look for money from friends and family and everyone, if that's all that you want to do, then you're a fundraiser. Right. You're not a filmmaker, you know, like, because if you're a filmmaker, your urge to make films would override any one project. Yes. Any project. It's yes. like, okay, I would love to do this thing, but I can't do this right now. So let me put that aside and I want to make something I can do. Then you make something else. Oh, this is great, but I can't do this one either. You know what? I'd be happy just shooting a short. Like, I just need to do it. I have to learn. I, I, I'm happy when I'm shooting. I don't care what it is. You know, I think that's the state you need to be. That's the only way to, um, to not throw obstacles in front of yourself is to just like, if you want to make films, make films. But now, and I'm kind of avoiding this a little bit, but it, it, this kind of goes to the larger question of like, what is your real passion? And I find that, you know, maybe you can speak to this too, but I find that most of the time when I run into people, not to dilute my first point, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Most of the time when I run into people, and I hear a lot of obstacles they're throwing in front of themselves, mm -hmm. usually they don't want it bad enough. Oh, absolutely. Usually, usually they don't love it enough. It's it's conditional love. I'll say it that it's conditional love. It's kind of like it's having great. that girlfriend, right? Where you're like, man, yeah, she's so cute. She's this 36, 24, 30, you know, whatever the measurements, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? It's like, yeah, I like you, I like you, I like you. Let her gain a couple of extra LBSs. Mm -hmm. You know, catch her in the morning time without makeup. You know, all these little things. And before you know it, that thing that you thought was love is just infatuation. Right. It's just conditional at that point, right? Oh, I thought I really wanted this, but I only want it this way. If I can't have it this way, then I don't want to have it at all. Right. And I find that's what a lot of <sighs> filmmakers have is yeah. it's conditional love. It's like, yes, I like film. As long as I'm only shooting I'm, my idea yeah. this way with this amount of money. If I can't have it this way, I don't want to have it at all. It's almost like a comfort zone being spoiled mentality. Uh, and like I need to have it my way and only my way. And if it doesn't fit within my little parameters that I've set, then I'm just going to make excuses or be a, bitter, be a bitter, angry filmmaker. Uh, and like, I think I told you, and I say it a lot, 
I'm like, we all know angry, bitter filmmakers. And if, oh, yeah. and if we don't, and if and you don't know any angry, bitter filmmakers, you are the angry, bitter filmmaker that everybody <laughs> knows. Um, because it's true. 